Hello and welcome to the Mr Porridge podcast uh, and in this first sort of episode just going to tell you a bit about Mr Porridge Productions, uh, the editing software that we use, uh, our newly release of Four to the Past and a wee bit about uh, the new film that we're sort of working on. So just to sort of get into it, um, so Mr Porridge Productions. Mr Porridge Productions is a sort of small business that creates promotional films for businesses and also behind that creates films slash sort of short movies for you to watch and uh, that's sort of Mr Porridge Productions started in sort of 2020 during lockdown but the sort of official videos was sort of 2020, that's when I started using PowerDirector, which is the editing software that all of the Mr. Porridge Productions videos are made on. Now, PowerDirector is made by a company called Cyberlink, uh, and they offer a sort of suite option that has lots of different things, and I would recommend any video editors uh, or people that are sort of thinking about making films and yeah I, I'll, I would recommend uh, getting Power Director uh, and it's £50 a year for the premium feature uh, which gets you loads of effects and everything uh, but if you're just looking to do basic videos you know it's there free really good uh, and they've just recently partnered with Soundstripe some of you may know what that is but it's a royalty free music website and if you have the premium feature that is one of the things that you get you get access to every Soundstripe um, song it's really good I am starting to use a lot of the, their songs and a lot of the uh, films that I've started making it's really, it's really good and there's loads of tutorials out there as well for it so I would recommend it now on to Forward to the Past. Now Forward to the Past, uh, we had a premiere for it on the 15th of March and that, uh, that it went really well and uh, we're sort of working on it for, for the past year or so. Uh, it was sort of Easter holidays, April time, start of April when, when I started the first storyboards and through time it's just grew so much and and now it's what it is and I'm so tired of it and don't want to watch it again for a long time because a lot of the cast, they hadn't even seen it until the premiere and being the filmer and editor and producer of it, uh, you know, you know, I was with it the whole way through uh, and they, you know, they loved it um, and sort of comedy set in the 80s uh, but yeah, it, it, it went really well. Now on to our new film. Now the new film, I'm not really going to try and say too much but give an idea. So the new film is it's called More Than One Way To Go Home and it features a song from Soundstripe uh, also called More Than One Way To Go Home so that sort of links uh, and it's about an autistic uh, girl who gets lost and uh, just you know she's trying to get home and she's she's not that lost for a normal person you know she's she's five minutes away from a house she lives in a small village uh, but just the fact that she's not with her brother because her brother went off with his friends so it's sort of tackling uh, the autistic spectrum uh, and also sort of adolescent siblings uh, and all that uh, and that will be on the channel when it is out uh, which should be sort of once it's filmed and finished the script but uh, I'm hoping fingers crossed uh, that it's sort of finished in the sort of summer time um, but yeah so that's sort of all for today, but uh, we'll be back. I'll be back next week, telling you some more things. Uh, and yeah, so I hope you like it. And uh, please just subscribe, like only if you like it though.
I, I'm not forcing you to like it if you don't like it. But if you like it, there's no harm in liking it and subscribe, you know, and you can get the latest podcasts, videos, you know, and films and things. So that's all for the Mr. Porridge podcast of this week. Thank you.